Chavez is just a sophomore here. Chavez. It's a one-two pitch. Off-speed pitch. Got her swinging. And the first out of the game for Maddie Schwartz is a strikeout of Chavez. Well, and that off-speed pitch seems to be working here early if that first pitch is any of the Bears out there. This one lifted in the air to left field and taking a couple steps to the right and squeezing that one is Peyton Bannon for the second. Now a B. Freshman shortstop Jess Oakland for the Golden Gophers. First pitch from Schwartz. And that one ripped down the right field line. That's going to get down for a fair ball. Oakland running first on her way to second. And she'll park there. Off speed pitch. Got her ahead. Tough play for Sardashny. Throw to first in time to retire the side in the first inning. So Schwartz gave up the Maddie Schwartz. And now the Badger offense will get a turn here. And a little bit of a. Righty to lefty, here's the 2-2. That one's in the air to left center field. Drifting over and making the catch in left field is Bradley for the first out of the end. When she makes contact, she gets a hit. A 3-1 and that one hit her. Hamber coming inside for the first time in the AB, a little bit too far inside. Oh, here right on that elbow guard. who just on Sunday moved up to second. And now a one, two to Keller, off speed pitch, hit high in the air. Drifting back is Oakland, she'll make the catch in the outfield grass. And now it'll be Brooke Koffel, who has been enjoying a bit of a breakout season, but a little bit of a slump. They have pitch coming to Koffel. The full count, she swings and misses. And Hambrick with a strikeout to end the inning for Minnesota. Scoreless. Yeah, last meeting, May 11th of 2022 in the Big Ten Tournament, the Badgers took. This one ripped into right field. Nevin coming in to make the play in right field. So Nevin taking over in right field for Brooke. Either with a strikeout, fly out, or ground out. This one is trouble. Ripped into left center field and off the wall. Rounding first on her way to second. Here's the throw coming in. A close play, but Elke. And her speed just adds on to that, making those singles into doubles. So now it'll be straight low with a straight low with a Paris prep career there. Here's the one two pitch off speed lifted into center field, and that's going to get down for a hit. And the runner holding up there at third, and on the throw, coming all the way to the place at the sports household. I'm sure, over and over and over again, but never in a spot. It's the 1-1. One, one. And that one nubbed to Maddie Schwartz. She's going to come home. The throw is in time to get the runner out and keep a zero on the scoreboard. Like a draw the between the sister matchup. You can see just in time. Here for the Golden Gophers. First pitch right up the middle and through for a hit. So the run does come in. Burnett comes through in a big spot, and it's 1-0 Minnesota. Way that back in the first inning on the strikeout. Schwartz is 1-2, and that one up the middle again. This one is able to be gloved by Hubbard, but everybody's safe. Bases are loaded here. You could just see it was a little bobble. She couldn't get to the base path in time. Bradley flew out in her last at bat. A 2-1. Up the middle. That's a base hit. So Bradley delivers and two runs will score for Minnesota. Bradley will take second on the throw all the way to the plate. Can get it. And perfect speed base running by all of the Gophers. I'm inning in two thirds of work for Schwartz. Trying to get out of the Oakland with a team leading 26 walks on the year. The Golden Gophers extended that to nine with a double back in the first. And now a base hit up the middle. One run will score. Another coming around as well. And now it's 5 nothing Minnesota. Letting another run score. You got to think when's it going to end for Wisconsin. Afternoon. So Schwartz able to recuse 
Yeah, her ERA was better after a poor outing percentage as well as home runs. She's going to be a tough hitter to face for Manana. Under the singles. This one's crushed in the air, deep to left field, and on the track, and making the catch is Bannon. Do an end for Wisconsin, but not before Minnesota puts up a crooked number in the top. It's going to be Hambrick's task here for Minnesota. Just the last inning, the batters, they were extending the pitches. So Dasty oh. pokes that one to second base and couldn't be fielded there by Stray Low. And really the only freshman this season to crack the everyday lineup for Wisconsin. On the year, always good for a battle. There's a 1-2, and there she strikes out. So Crane. Wisconsin still searching for their first hit. On JC. Full count. Swing and a miss. And Hambrick picks up her second strikeout of the inning. Bannon hitting 239 this year. 18 RBIs. Bannon, this one floated into left field. That's going to get down for a hit. So, first hit of the game for Wisconsin. There you can take a look at the numbers from Hubbard. Trying to avoid, or excuse me, Hubbard trying to avoid becoming the third strikeout victim. Stays alive here, bounces it right to Hambrick, and she'll toss to first to Schwartz to end the inning. Badgers. Piper Ritter, 15 years with the Gopher program. Just her third year as head coach. Half of the third. Then Hard Dog, the line out. The full count from Mignanamo. Off speed pick lifted in the air to left. Bannon back to the track and able to track it down right there. Opolis waiting. El Golden Gophers. And pitch just off the plate. Elkie hold off and a walk here. Squares to Bunn, popped right up in the air. Angelopoulos makes the catch in foul territory. So it's a tough break there for Stray Low, but a great get out of this inning. Innings, two-time All-State honoree. And now Schwartz sends one in the air to left center field, to the track, to the wall, and gone! Sydney Schwartz with the field, and Minnesota now up a touchdown. On the pitch delivery and the hit, just got it lifted right up into sen left center for a great home run. Nightmare start here for Wisconsin against their rivals to the west. In the air to center, Schlosser drifting over to her left and makes the catch to end the inning. Minnesota. Schlosser, first pitch into right field for a base hit. So that's a nice start for Wisconsin as they search for a response. And Healy being head coach for Wisconsin for 13 seasons. They both have the time. Jason Smith brings it right back. Here's the 3-2. Conwin on the ground to second. What a stop there. Throw to first. Double play. Wow, what a play started by Jess Oakland. Outs for Katie Keller. Real to off-speed pitch. Keller gets a piece. And grounded fouled on the third base side. And the pitch, off speed pitch, grounded or ripped down the right through that 3 4 hole and into right field for a base hit. And that one did it hit her. It did. It brushed her on the leg. So now two straight base run ups at worst. So Dashney right up the middle and snatched out of the air by Hambrick. Wow, what a play there by the Minnesota pitcher. That one pops straight up into the air. Who wants it? So Dash comes in, makes us the catch about halfway between home plate and the pitching. Still is quite remarkable when you think about Maddie Schwartz against Nebraska. This one floated in the air. 
And squeezed by Ava Kutak playing second base now for Wisconsin. Gonna have to really get into this inning, into this game with the doubleheader. And that one absolutely drills her. Oh boy. Oakland. Like right on the forearm there. She almost actually went around. Minnesota, Wisconsin. Have to be used to it at a certain point. Another payoff from Mignanimo and misses badly for ball four. So that will bring Denhart Doug to the play. Nothing to show for you yet in this game going 0-2 with a fly out. Peaked its way out of the clouds here. Ripped Dash Sir Dashney and down the third base line, and then it gets away from Bannon in left field. So already a couple runs coming in, and now a third one as well. Wisconsin actually checked that. Just two runs coming across there with just the runners. That'll on. be a single and a two base error for Den Hartog. Of the Badgers, as well as this time peeking out. It's a new light for the Gophers, not going up 9 0 in this game in the top of the. Solo with a great start. She has the lowest opponent batting average of the Wisconsin. On the ground of first. And Keller able to make the play, and on one pitch, Salo able to get out of the inning. But now, yeah, Enter coming in here. This is going to be her 19th appearance. 3-5-0 ER from potentially invoking the so freshman, freshman swap here. Kusak this time lifts it, and drifting back, Oakland makes the catch on the outfield grass to retire Kusak for the first out for Wisconsin. Angelopoulos pounds this one on the ground to first base. And an easy play there for Schwartz. And one. On the ground is short. Oakland fields the second hop. Whips one across. And Bannon is out at first base. So on five pitches, which Minnesota is right now. So if Minnesota is leading by eight or more. On the ground is short and botched there by Ellie Hubbard. So an error on Hubbard. Average well above her 273 for the year. This one is second base. How many? There's one throw to first. Double play. A nice play there by the Badger middle infield, Kusak, and then Hubbard. Another payoff pitch from Salo, and this one is inside, and Burnett will take first base with a walk. Chavez with a strikeout, a single, and a pop-up. First pitch from Salo on the ground. Sardashny Fields will throw to first, and in time to retire Chavez. So, Wisconsin be the sixth eight-run rule victim this season of Minnesota. Her already with 21 strikeouts this season. You know, she wants to try to extend that. And two coming to Schlosser. On the ground, softly to second base. Stray Lowe makes this play to retire Schlosser. Mitchell advances to second base. Put a runner in scoring position. Nine home runs already this season. And this one in the air to left. A couple steps in is Bradley. And able to squeeze that one. To walk if she really wanted to. And a good thing. Enter trying to end it. 2 2. That one poked to short. And Oakland with no play. So Keller will reach with an infield single to extend the game. Right here. And Kuffle pops this one up. Enter underneath. Instead, taken by Chavez. And that is gonna do it. Victory here in game one and improved to 10 and 6 in Big Ten play with their fourth straight.